Hey everyone, Jen from Hot Off The Rack here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm finally sharing my most requested video which is how I curl my hair. Now let me start by saying I am not a professional hairstylist. These are just my own personal tips and tricks to creating an effortless wave. So here we go. First we'll start with how I prep my hair. To me, a good hair day starts with a good shampoo and conditioner. And I use a few different ones throughout the week, starting with a purple shampoo and conditioner, which is vital if you have any highlights or color in your hair, because it'll help tone down the brassiness. Another product that I like to use is um, a volumizing one. So I've got a volumizing shampoo and conditioner, and that's what I'll use to give my hair a little bit more va va boom, if you will. And then I also, whoops, I also like to use a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner throughout the week because that's really important to make sure that you are keeping your hair nice and healthy and smooth because you don't want it to look fried once you're curling it. And last but not least, if I can find it, a clarifying shampoo and a hair mask. Yes, just like your face, your hair needs a mask too. And as for the clarifying shampoo, that's gonna help get rid of all the product built up, like all the dry shampoo and texturizing spray and hairspray that you put in your hair. Before we move on, I wanna mention one little luxury product. If you're feeling fancy, this Oribe, hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, it's called Gold Lust Repair and Restore, and this stuff leaves my face, not my face, my hair, we're talking about my hair, leaves my hair feeling so smooth and silky, and I'll link these in the description below. Moving on, I hope I'm not boring you. I know I've got a lot of product information here, but I've got this Kevin Murphy Staying Alive Leave-In Treatment. So I spray this all over my hair right after I shampoo and condition it. And then, if I wanna go ahead and blow dry my hair right after, I'm gonna use this um, damage remedy. And this is gonna help repair my hair, and on top of that, it's gonna add in um, a heat protectant. Lastly, if I wanna add some volume, I'm gonna use this mousse right here, and I'm just gonna apply it to the top of my head and kind of zhuzh it in there, like that, zhuzh. We've officially moved on to the hair drying portion of this video, and these are my two favorite hair dryers, the T3 Micro and the Dry Bar Buttercup. These are both great hair dryers, and on top of that, I like to use the wet brush. In fact, ever since I started using a wet brush, I can't use any other brush on my head because it feels too rough. This is going to smoothly go through your hair, doesn't cause any breakage, and it helps really get through all those tangles. So this is what I recommend using when you're drying your hair. I have obviously already washed and dried my hair, and in case you're wondering if I do anything special when I'm drying my hair, I really don't. I'm pretty much just brushing it back and forth like this, and then flipping it to the other side, bringing it to the front, like I said, nothing crazy. I will say that a long time ago, I read that you're not supposed to completely blow dry your hair. Instead, you're supposed to do 80% and then let the other 20% dry on its own. So I usually do that. Um, I let the other 20% dry while I do my makeup and then I go ahead and I start curling. Once your hair is completely dry, or if you've got dirty hair, this dry shampoo is also gonna come in handy. So I use it even when my hair is clean and when it's dirty. One product you can use is Kevin Murphy Do Over. Um, and this one's gonna add some more texture and grit to it if your hair's super clean. And then this dry shampoo is also gonna add some texture to your hair, but it's really great if your hair is actually dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this through my hair so you can see exactly how I do it. So you really wanna um, spread it evenly throughout the hair. I lift up like this, all throughout the hair, all under every little section. Kinda make my own sections. Just like that. If I was using the dry shampoo, I would have used it the same exact way, except I probably wouldn't have brought the dry shampoo down to my ends. I would probably just keep it as close to my scalp as possible. Now, if you wanna add a little bit more texture, I highly recommend the Aura Bay texturizing spray. Again, this is kind of expensive, so that's why I have the travel size product of it. Um, but this will definitely add a little more texture throughout to really hold your curls and give it an effortless wave. 
the last thing you need to do before you actually start curling is make sure you have some heat protectant in your hair. As I mentioned earlier, I like to use um, one of the products that you put in when it's wet and has the heat protectant in it. But if you don't, if your hair is dirty and you need to start over, the Dry Bar Hotty Toddy is great. And you can just spray it. I'm gonna spray it anyway, even though I already used some other product. You can spray it all on your ends, not too close on both sides. And you can use it again when you need to in the middle of curling your hair because you do not want to damage your hair from curling it. I lied. There's one more thing that I use and it is this VIP volume powder, which is to give me that extra volume on top of my head because I don't like to tease my hair. But if you do like to tease your hair, you can also do it with this product. But all you do is you spray it at the crown, around the crown of your head, just like this. And you wanna zhuzh it like so. And this is really gonna create all that extra volume that you want on top of your head. The time has finally come for me to show you how I actually curl my hair. But before I do, I need to talk to you about the actual tool that I use, which is the T3 Micro Interchangeable Wand. And it comes with three different barrel sizes. I use the one and a half inch, and that's what gives you that really effortless wave in between a big curl and in between a tight curl. So, I hope that you are not disappointed <laughs> with how I curl it, because it's really easy. I'm hoping that you're pleasantly surprised. But basically, all I do is I start with a small section in the front, I know you're thinking like, wow, this is really anticlimactic. But you take that small section in front and you wanna start a little bit further away from your face as opposed to right up against it so it doesn't create an awkward curl coming out of your head. And then you're going to wrap it around and you wanna leave a little bit of hair out at the end so that it's a wave and not an actual curl. Now, this is weird, I count for 13 seconds. Some people will tell you to actually feel the heat on it and know when to take it off, but I count for 13 seconds, which I think has been 13 seconds by now. And then I let that curl sit, and then I move on to the next piece. I'm telling you, this is really exactly how I do it. I don't section off anything crazy. I just do it just like this. As you can see, I brought it, now I'm bringing it closer to my head, whereas the first piece, you don't want the, um, you don't want a weird curl in front of your eyes. So you wanna start further away, but as soon as you get away from your face, you're gonna start closer to your head. And then taking it out and letting it sit. You don't wanna tug on it, you wanna leave it just like so. I wanna point out that I'm curling away from my face, and I do that for all of the curls. Um, some people like to do every other to give it a more uh, messy look, but I find that my waves work better if I go the same way all the way around my head, which is away from the face. Um, now you can see I have a group of curls here, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this Kirastas hairspray. And I just spray it right on top of the curls, not too close, and then I also get on the bottom of them, and I still let them sit. You don't wanna brush them yet, you don't wanna pull on them, you wanna let them sit as long as possible. Another hairspray that I use is this really cheap hairspray that I found on Amazon. Actually, um, my friend Crystal from A Pinch of Lovely told me about it. We've been using it for the past like five years. We call it Krusty Crunch because it makes, instead of making your hair sticky, it makes it like crunchy, but crunchy in a good way. And um, anyway, your hair will definitely stay if you get the Mega Hold 10 Max. I do also want to mention sections. As you can see, I'm taking very small, maybe half inch sections of my hair because I want the waves to be separate from each other as opposed to all of the waves running into each other. And that will help with that if you're taking smaller sections, especially if you have really fine hair like I do. Um, it won't really hold a curl as well, but if you use smaller sections, it will help. I'm sure some of you are watching and you're thinking, why is she not doing this in sections? She's making it very difficult for herself. But you asked me for how I do my hair and this is really how I do it. Now that I have one whole side finished, 
I'm gonna take my hairspray and I'm gonna spray it all through my hair. Make sure to get under, lift up the pieces. And then I even take this section and I kind of pull it back away from my face and spray it so that way it sets back as opposed to um, as opposed to your curls getting kind of PC in your face. Now it's gonna look a little weird for a little while, but we're gonna move on to the other side. So I'm just gonna take the other section that isn't finished and I'm gonna brush through it, make sure to get out any tangles. And this is weird, but I actually start from the back on the other side. So I take a piece from the back, small section, probably about like, you know, a half inch here. Okay, we are down to the last little section right here. So I'm gonna talk about that with you. I like to keep this section um, nice and small because my hair gets a little bit thinner towards the front of my face. So I realized that if I started doing smaller sections, the curls would stay longer. So as you can see, nice small little section, leaving the end out away from my face, still close to the head. And we're still gonna stay close to the head a little bit longer right before I get to here. So, we've got this little section left. All right, last little section by my face. Again, we're gonna start out a little bit further. We don't wanna be too close to the head like this. We wanna come out maybe two inches and then I'm gonna wrap it away from the face like so. Hold it for my 13 seconds. And then I'm gonna let it out. And I'm bring all those curls to the front. I give it some good hairspray. Lift under all those pieces. Really get it under there. Same thing on this side. I'm gonna brush this hair back away from my face and let it set so that way I don't get PC curls in front of my face. Now, what I would normally do is my makeup wouldn't be done, but I didn't want you to have to see me without makeup. So I would let my hair sit like this for a while, I would do my makeup, and then I would come back and I would get my brush. I liked the way that my waves looked a little better with a brush. So you're gonna take your brush, you're gonna brush it out. By the way, this is me pretending that I've been doing my makeup for the last 15 to 20 minutes and letting my hair sit. So you're gonna brush out those curls, brush it out, not like a hard brush, you're really just kind of moving around the hairspray, if you will. Then we're gonna come back to the texturizing spray. I'm using the Aura Bay texturizing spray and I'm gonna spray it through my hair on both sides, all throughout. to make sure I have that extra texture that I want. For kind of like those boho-like curls, that's what I usually go for. And then I'm gonna take the hairspray through one more final time, all around my hair. And that's it, that's how I wave my hair. I hope you all enjoyed this hair tutorial. Make sure to comment with any questions that you have below and don't forget to subscribe. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.